Hello friends! In this week's video, I am taking you back to the room where this YouTube channel began eight months ago. The dining room. When we moved into this house a year and a half ago, the first thing that I painted was this room. Our last home had had a farmhouse feel that was centered around white shiplap walls, and I wanted this house to have a different feel altogether, which started with bringing in color. I had chose this deep green because I loved it, and I still do, but after I painted the living room Hale Navy late last year, I knew that the two just couldn't exist together in adjoining rooms, and something had to give. I want our home to have a sophisticated, vintage look and feel while being welcoming at the same time. My new vision for this space will be a lighter, airier version that brings in hints of blue to complement the living room and lets our family heirlooms and thrift store treasures shine. Eventually, I plan to incorporate picture frame moldings and find a new, more grand chandelier. But for now, we will start with a fresh coat of paint and a special vintage piece that I cannot wait to incorporate. I can't wait to watch it all come together. It's funny the things that pop into your head when you're working on a project. As I began to move my childhood piano into the living room, I was instantly transported back to my 13-year-old bedroom. You see, I had a habit of rearranging my room every few months. I guess some things you never quite grow out of. But I had a very nice and heavy Ethan Allen bedroom suit, and I had figured out how to move the pieces all by myself. For the dresser, I would take all the drawers out to make it lighter, and for the bed, I would remove the mattress and box spring so that I could more easily move it around the room. I was clever and determined. My parents, particularly my dad, didn't always see it my way. Apparently, he was more concerned with the safety of my very nice furniture than my ever-changing design aesthetic. Oh, how I miss that man. By moving the piano back into the living room, which is where I had had it when we first moved in, it will visually and physically open the space as you walk into the kitchen. The piano being on that wall didn't really leave much space for walking and really made it feel cramped. I think it is much better suited over here beside the sofa in the living room. I'm going to go ahead and move my portrait that my grandpa painted of my grandma into the dining room and replace it with a painting that if you watched last week's video is going to look very familiar.
I'm not sure that another piece of furniture has been moved around as much as this electric fireplace mantle. It started out in the dining room when we first moved in, and then it went to the bedroom, and then it came back to the dining room, and now it's headed back to the bedroom again. Let's see how long it stays there. I chose Edgecomb Gray by Benjamin Moore for the walls in the dining room because it is the color that I used on the board and batten and antique mantle in the living room. Since these rooms are open to each other, I wanted them to flow very effortlessly. I love this color because it is such a pretty creamy neutral color. It gives a warmth and coziness to the room, but still feels light and airy. If you watched my video a few weeks back entitled Slow Morning Routine and Spring Kitchen Refresh, I showed you a sneak peek of this mantle. I will link that video in the description box if you haven't had a chance to see it yet. But anyhow, my husband found this mantle for me, and would you believe it was free? I had originally planned on using it in the bedroom, but I got to thinking that we spend the majority of our time in the living room and in the dining room kitchen area, and I really wanted to be able to enjoy looking at it all throughout the day. 
I went ahead and painted it in the edge comb gray as well because I wanted it to feel like it was a part of the wall. It's going to make such a beautiful focal point in the dining room. I also wanted to mention that this mantle, although large, does not have the depth, if you will, as our living room mantle. The mantle in the living room is able to stand on its own without being attached to the wall for stability. It really is a freestanding piece of furniture almost. This mantle, however, has to be attached to the wall with long screws so that it doesn't fall over. I was lucky enough that this one already had holes pre-drilled in it from a prior installation, so I was just able to use those to attach it.
Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I am pretty sure this is my new favorite room in the house and I'm kind of loving this as a backdrop for videos, right? It's so pretty. Anyhow, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already and you feel led to, we would absolutely love to have you here. Make sure that if you do subscribe, you hit that bell for notifications so that you are alerted every time that I post a brand new video. My normal schedule tends to be every single Friday morning. Anyhow, until next week, guys. Bye.